The hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshiper shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. Let us humbly confess our sins unto Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we, we have, have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done, and there is no health in us. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us, miserable offenders. Spare thou those, O God, who confess their faults. Restore thou those who are penitent, according to thy promises declared unto mankind in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of thy holy name. Amen. Grant, we beseech thee, merciful Lord, to thy faithful people pardon and peace, that they may be cleansed from all their sins and serve thee with a quiet mind through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall so forth thy praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. The Vanity found on page 459. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are all the corners of the earth, and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his, and he made it, and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is the Lord our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts, as in the provocation, and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness. When your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my works. Forty years long was I grieved with this generation, and said, It is a people that do err in their hearts, for they have not known my ways. Unto whom I swear in my wrath, that they should not enter into my rest. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Psalms appointed for the 11th day of the month at morning prayer are Psalms 56 through 58, beginning on page 408. Psalms 56 through 58. Be merciful unto me, O God, for man goeth about to devour me. He is daily fighting and troubling me. Mine enemies are daily at hand to swallow me up, for they be many that fight against me, O thou most highest. Nevertheless, though I am sometime afraid, yet put I my trust in Thee. I will praise God because of His word. I have put my trust in God, and will not fear what flesh can do unto me. They daily mistake my words. All that they imagine is to do me evil. They hold all together and keep themselves close, and mark my steps when they lay wait for my soul. Shall they escape for their wickedness? Thou, O God, in thy displeasure shall cast them down. Thou tellest my wanderings, put my tears into thy bottle, and not these things noted in thy book. Whensoever I call upon thee, then shall mine enemies be put to flight. This I know, for God is on my side. In God's word will I rejoice, in the Lord's word will I comfort me. Yea, in God have I put my trust. I will not be afraid what man can do unto me. Unto thee, O God, will I pay my vows. Unto thee will I give thanks. For thou hast delivered my soul from death, 
and my feet from falling, that I may walk before God in the light of the living. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Be merciful unto me, O God, be merciful unto me, for my soul trusteth in thee, and under the shadow of thy wings shall be my refuge until this tyranny be overpassed. I will call unto the Most High God, even unto the God that shall perform the cause which I have in hand. He shall send from heaven and save me from the reproof of him that would eat me up. God shall send forth his mercy and truth. My soul is among lions. And I lie even among the children of men that are set on fire, whose teeth are spears and arrows and their tongues a sharp sword. Set up thyself, O God, above the heavens and thy glory above all the earth. They have laid a net for my feet and pressed down my soul. They have digged a pit before me and are fallen into the midst of it themselves. My heart is fixed, O God, my heart is fixed. I will sing and give praise. Awake up, my glory, awake, lute and harp. I myself will awake right early. I will give thanks unto thee, O Lord, among the peoples, and I will sing unto thee among the nations. For the greatness of thy mercy reaches under the heavens, and thy truth under the clouds. Set up thyself, O God, above the heavens, and thy glory above all the earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Are your minds set upon righteousness, O ye congregation? And do ye judge the thing that is right, O ye sons of men? Yea, ye imagine mischief in your heart upon the earth, and your hands deal with wickedness. The ungodly are froward, even from their mother's womb. As soon as they are born, they go astray and speak lies. They are as venomous as the poison of a serpent, even like the deaf adder that stoppeth her ears. Which refuseth to hear the voice of the charmer. Charm he never so wisely. Break their teeth, O God, in their mouths. Smite the jawbones of lions, O Lord. Let them fall away like water that runneth apace. When they shoot their arrows, let them be rooted out. Let them consume away like a small, like a snail, and be like the un untimely fruit of a woman, and let them not see the sun. For ever your pots be made hot with thorns, he shall take them away with a whirlwind, the green and the burning alike. The righteous shall rejoice when he seeth the vengeance. He shall wash his footsteps in the blood of the ungodly. So that a man shall say, Verily there is a reward for the righteous. Doubtless there is a God that judges the earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Here beginneth the 17th chapter of the book of Exodus. And all the congregation of the children of Israel journeyed from the wilderness of sin, after their journeys according to the commandment of the Lord, and pitched in, in Rephidim, and there was no water for the people to drink. Wherefore the people did chide with Moses, and said, Give us water that we may drink. And Moses said unto them, Why chide ye with me? Wherefore do ye tempt the Lord? And the people thirsted there for water, and the people murmured against Moses, and said, Wherefore is this that thou hast brought us up out of Egypt, to kill us and our children and our cattle with thirst? And Moses cried unto the Lord, saying, What shall I do unto this people? They be almost ready to stone me. And the Lord said unto Moses, Go on before the people, and take with thee of the elders of Israel, and thy rod, wherewith thou smotest the river, Take in thine hand, and go. Behold, I will stand before thee there upon the rock of Horeb, and sh thou shalt smite the rock, and there shall come water out of it, and the people may drink. And Moses did so in the sight of the elders of Israel. And he called the name of the place Massa and Meribeth, because of the chiding of the children of Israel, and because they tempted the Lord, saying, It is the Lord among us, or not. Then came Amalek, who fought with, with Israel in Raphidim. And Moses said unto Joshua, Choose up out, 
choose us out men and go fight with the Amalek. Tomorrow I will stand on top of the hill with the rod of God in mine hand. So Joshua did as Moses had said to him and fought with Amalek. And Moses, Aaron, and Hur went up to the top of the hill. And it came to pass when Moses held up his hand that Israel prevailed. And when he led down his hand, Amalek prevailed. But Moses' hands were heavy. And they took a stone and put it under him. And he sat thereon, and Aaron and Hur stayed up his hands, the one on the one side and the other on the other side. And his hands were steady until the going down of the sun. And Joshua discomfited Amalek with his people at the edge of the sword. And the Lord said unto Moses, Write this for a memorial in a book, and rehearse it in the ears of Joshua. For I will utterly put out of the remembrance of Amalek from under heaven. And Moses built an altar, and called the name of the place Jehovah Sini. For he said, Because the Lord hath sworn that the Lord will have war with Amalek from, the, from generation to generation. Here endeth the first lesson. This morning we will read the first half of the Benedici found on page 11 and 12. O all ye works of the Lord, bless ye the Lord. Praise Him and magnify Him forever. O ye angels of the Lord, bless ye the Lord. Praise Him and magnify Him forever. O ye heavens, bless ye the Lord. Praise Him and magnify Him forever. O ye waters that be above the firmament, bless ye the Lord. Praise Him and magnify Him forever. O all ye powers of the Lord, bless ye the Lord. Praise Him and magnify Him forever. O ye sun and moon, bless ye the Lord. Praise Him and magnify Him forever. O ye stars of heaven, bless ye the Lord. Praise Him and magnify Him forever. O ye showers and dew, bless ye the Lord. Praise Him and magnify Him forever. O ye winds of God, bless ye the Lord. Praise Him and magnify Him forever. O ye fire and heat, bless ye the Lord. Praise Him and magnify Him forever. O ye winter and summer, bless ye the Lord. Praise Him and magnify Him forever. O ye dews and frosts, bless ye the Lord. Praise Him and magnify Him forever. O ye frost and cold, bless ye the Lord. Praise Him and magnify Him forever. O ye ice and snow, bless ye the Lord. Praise Him and magnify Him forever. O ye nights and days, bless ye the Lord. Praise Him and magnify Him forever. O ye light and darkness, bless ye the Lord. Praise Him and magnify Him forever. O ye lightnings and clouds, bless ye the Lord. Praise Him and magnify Him forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Here beginneth the first verse of the sixth chapter of the Gospel according to St. John. After these things Jesus went over the Sea of Galilee, which is the Sea of Tiberias, and a great multitude followed him, because they saw his miracles which he did on them that were diseased. And Jesus went up in, into a mountain, and there he sat with his disciples. And the Passover, a feast of the Jews, was nigh. When Jesus lifted up his eyes and saw a great company come unto him, he saith unto Philip, Whence shall we buy bread that these may eat? And, and this he said to prove him, for he, he himself knew what he would do. Philip answered him, Two hundred penny worth of bread is not sufficient for them, that every one of them may take a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, saith unto him, There is a lad here which have five barley loaves and two small fishes, but what are they among so many? And Jesus said, Make the men sit down. Now there was much grass in the place, so the men sat down in number about 5,000. 5, and Jesus took the loaves, and when He had given thanks, He distributed to His disciples, and the disciples to them that were sat down, and likewise of the fishes, as much as they would. When they were filled, He said unto His disciples, Gather up the fragments that remain, that nothing be lost. Therefore they gathered them together, and when filled and filled twelve baskets with the fragments of the five barley loaves, which remained over and above unto them that had eaten. 
Then those men, when they had seen the miracle that Jesus set, did, said, This is of a truth that, prophet, that, that should come unto the world. When Jesus therefore perceived that they would come and take him by force to make him a king, he departed again into the mountain himself alone. And when even was now come, his disciples went down to the sea, unto the sea and entered into a ship and went over the sea towards Capernaum. And it was now dark and Jesus was not come to them. And the sea arose by reason of a great wind that blew. So when they had rowed about five and twenty or thirty furlongs, they see Jesus walking on the sea and drawing nigh unto the ship, and they were afraid. But he saith unto them, It is I, be not afraid. Then they willingly received him into the ship, and immediately the ship was at land whither they went. Here endeth the second lesson. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people. And hath raised up a mighty salvation for us in the house of his servant David. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. That we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. To perform the mercy promised to our forefathers and to remember his holy covenant. To perform the oath which he sware to our forefather Abraham that he would give us. That we, being delivered out of the hand of our enemies, might serve him without fear. In holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. And thou, child, shalt be called the prophet of the highest. For thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways. To give knowledge of salvation unto his people for the remission of their sins. Through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high hath visited us. To give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet in the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker, maker of, of heaven and, and earth, and, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell, and the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us. And grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the state. And mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. And do thy ministers with righteousness. And make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people. And bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord. For it is thou, Lord, only that makest us dwell in safety. O God, make clean our hearts within us. And take not thy Holy Spirit from us. We beseech thee, Almighty God, look upon the hearty desires of thy humble servants and stretch forth the right hand of thy majesty to be our defense against all our enemies. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Ghost, one God, world without end. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, who hatest nothing that thou hast made and dost forgive the sins of all those who are penitent, Create and make in us new and contrite hearts that we, worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchednesses, that may obtain of thee, the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness through Jesus Christ our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Ghost, one God, world without end. Amen. O God, who art the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom standeth our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom. Defend us, thy humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, 
that we, surely trusting in thy defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries, through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our heavenly Father, and everlasting God, who has safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with thy mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings being ordered by thy governance may be righteous in thy sight, and through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our heavenly Father, the high and mighty ruler of the universe, who dost from thy throne behold all the dwellers upon earth, most heartily we beseech thee with thy favor to behold and bless thy servant, the President of the United States, and all others in authority. And so replenish them with the grace of thy Holy Spirit, that they may always incline to do thy will and walk in the way, and do them plenteously with the heavenly gifts, grant them in health and prosperity long to live, and finally after this life to attain everlasting joy and felicity through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, from whom cometh every good and perfect gift, send down upon our bishops and other clergy and upon the congregations committed to their charge, their helpful spirit of thy grace, that they may truly please thee, pour upon them the continual dew of thy blessing. Grant this, O Lord, for the honor of our advocate and mediator, Jesus Christ. Amen. O God, the creator and preserver of all mankind, we humbly beseech thee for all sorts and conditions of men, that thou wouldest be pleased to make thy ways known unto them, thy saving health unto all nations. More especially, we pray for thy holy church universal, that it may be so guided and governed by thy good spirit, that all who profess and call themselves Christians may be led into the way of truth and hold the faith and unity of spirit, in the bond of peace and in righteousness of life. Finally, we commend to thy fatherly goodness all those who are in any ways afflicted or distressed in mind, body, or estate. That it may please thee to comfort and relieve them according to their several necessities, giving them patience under their suffering and a happy issue of, out of all their afflictions. And this we beg for Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. O God, whose mercies cannot be numbered, accept our prayers on behalf of the souls of thy servants departed, particularly for Carlisle Dunbar, father of Father Gavin Dunbar, who died on Saturday, March 6, and grant them an entrance into the land of light and joy in the fellowship of thy saints, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I bid your prayers for the repose of the souls of the face to faithful departed. Rest eternal grant unto them, O Lord. And let light perpetual shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, we thine unworthy, unworthy servants do give, give thee most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all men. We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life but above, above all for thine inestimable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we beseech thee, give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfeignedly thankful, and that we show forth thy praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to thy service and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications unto thee, and dost promise that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants, as it may be most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come, life everlasting. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen.